name is Cheryl Chambers, and in honor of our 160th anniversary, I would like to share some memories with you about growing up at Byron United. My first Christian mentors were my grandparents, Albert and Geraldine Dorman. They lived next door to us on Springbank Ave. I would go over to visit them, and they would teach me Bible stories and children's hymns, giving me my first Bible at the age of five. And they also made sure that we attended church regularly. In those days, we were attending the old church on Commissioner's Road. And my first memory of Sunday school was an interesting story. They, my parents decided that I should go to church at the age, or go to sun, go to Sunday school at the age of four. So the day came, and I was a shy child and I wasn't used to being without my parents. But my mom took me downstairs and I discovered that the Sunday school area also contained the big boiler that kept the church warm. So when I went down, I realized that I should probably stay away from anything that was boiling. So I got scared and I started to cry and I cried so loud that I could be heard through the old wooden floorboards in the sanctuary. And it wasn't long before I was rescued. <laughs> and then we had moved to our new location, this church, and I was attending Sunday school regularly, and by then I was enjoying it much more. One of my earliest teachers was Verna Davis. She was a kind and gentle soul, and I still have fond memories of her. Other teachers along the way were Charles and Blanche Bycroft, Marion McNeese, and Keith Sutton, to name a few. We were the baby boom generation, and there were so many of us. Records showed that the peak uh, registration for Sunday school children was 1,122 people, with the top attendance being 666 on a given Sunday. So we were running out of space in our current location and the Christian Education Wing was added on and that part uh, was the gym, the stage, the classrooms at the back of the stage and also classrooms on the upper story where the offices are today. We had classrooms on the stage, at the side of the stage and even a class in the kitchen. Then at the age of 14, many of us were confirmed. We had our classes in what is our family room today, and I remember the rows of chairs stretching from one wall to the other. Our catechism, our, our, our curriculum was the United Church Catechism. It was an exciting day when we were all confirmed. And one of my fond memories was receiving my first communion card from our elder, Margaret Haw. The elders distributed the communion cards that were placed on the collection plate on Communion Sunday to count the number of people attending. I also enjoyed attending CGIT, and it was at a CGIT meeting that I first felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. Many other special events have taken place here. Dave and I were married here in 1973. Our daughter, Julie, was baptized here in 1980 and married in 2003, and both of our grandchildren have been baptized here. It is my prayer that Byron United Church would be central in the lives of families for generations to come.